Hi, my name is Melissa Schultz. This is a video to help viewers understand how to properly protect their paper documents that may be valuable historical evidence or just family photos. Using the Newman Collection scrapbook, we can see how these pieces of paper have been affected by time. We also can see how to preserve them as they exist for future generations, so they are able to use this wonderful tool. The Newman scrapbook is filled with many documents that help us understand A.T. Newman and his desire to preserve Native American culture. If the scrapbook did not exist, a large part of our understanding would be missing and the objects would lose significant value. I don't mean necessarily dollar amount, but we lose the cultural value learned through these pictures, letters, and newspaper articles. Paper objects of any personal value should be given consideration for conservation. Items such as diaries, photos, marriage documents, and so on are familiar items that anyone may have that they would like to preserve. Let's take a sneak peek into the archives. Water has both a positive and negative effect on paper. Paper is created with a base of water, and even once it has been printed on, it still has water built into its structure to maintain durability. When there is poor circulation of humid air, the paper absorbs the excess moisture and can cause mold or water spots seen on the first page in the Newman scrapbook. Make sure papers are stored away from dripping water. As seen in this letter, water can smudge the ink, making reading difficult. High, dry temperatures can cause the internal water to evaporate, thus creating brittle paper which cracks and tears easily. This is seen on the inventory list shown here. Be sure to remove all paper clips and staples. Over time these can rust, leaving the residue even after the paper clips have been removed. Look at the top of this page where the paper clips used to be. Moisture has had a negative effect on these documents regarding the donation of the Newman Collection. Along with adhesive, these documents are forever wrinkled. Light can also have a negative effect on paper goods, such as these photos of Dewey Beard. The color has faded and the light has bleached the photo. Visible light and UV light can cause damage to paper objects, so they should be stored in acid-free folders with low to zero light. When storing paper objects, make sure to separate newspaper articles and photos. The paper used in the newspaper is weak, easily damaged, and can cause coloring onto opposite pages, as seen here in the scrapbook. Printed photos have similar effects on opposite pages. Notice the cradleboard's reflection on the opposite page, clearly visible through the letter and the photo. Notice the adhesive used on these pages. Tape can dry and break away, leaving yellowed particles on photos and the paper it was originally adhered to. Glue adhesive also has a negative impact on photos. As seen on these pages, the photos are intact and still on the original paper, but the photos show wrinkles from where the glue has left its mark. The Newman scrapbook has had preventative measures taken to stall any further deterioration, so don't worry, it's in good condition.